Hi everyone. So today all road leads to LRJ Farms in Nikorodu. And Nikorodu from where I stay is about two hours plus. But you know we have to do what we have to do. Uh, my client has asked me to check up his farm and drop some recommendations. And luckily for you guys, today is the day they will be vaccinating their broiler birds um against newcastle the first vaccination actually i think today is day seven so lucky you i'm going to be showing you the whole process how to vaccinate your broiler birds the whole process from the start to the finish the only way to do it right i'm going to be showing you today yeah, so so upon getting to the farm the birds are actually doing perfectly okay um but there's a little bit of mix up in the watering system the person that was supposed to turn off the water supply i guess he didn't do it quite right he's a new person on on ground so so we had to give the birds a little feed so that we can hasten their test for water so we've given them feed now and we are expecting them to be testing in the next let's say 30 minutes or thereabouts Yes, so, and thanks to God, this place is still feeling okay. The temperature, I think I checked it the other time. It was around 31 point something, so they are still fine. And they are going to have the vaccine very soon. So you can see them running up and down. They are good. They are starting to look for water. Okay, so we are about to start the vaccination now we have about um, 33 liters of water here and the beds are about 3300 so we intend to give each of them about 10 meals that's why we have 33 liters but the vaccines we have here is for 4000 doses that's 4000 beds so what we do is we want to extract the proportion for 700 beds out so we left it just um the dosage for 3300 beds and the way we will do that is all right if you're just joining us this is the highway hagrick i'm your number one animal scientist and your poultry success partner so if you are getting value in this video i would like you to click the like button also click the subscribe button and then the notification bell if you want to get new videos when they are published so let's continue um i would try and get 40 mils just 40 mils of water so we don't waste uh, our water and the vaccine no i'll get 40 mils of water this water that has been neutralized with milk the powdered milk we've mixed it to neutralize the chlorine that might be inside the water so i'll extract 40 mils of this water inside this container and that is where i would dissolve the four vials of vaccine so after that that four vials represent four thousand doses i'm going to extract just seven mils if 40 mils is for four thousand then seven mils will be for 700 so i will extract seven mils out and that is the one we are going to destroy we're going to bury it so we'll be left with that which will serve only 3300 beds so i will start with that process now i'm going to be using this syringe to extract the vaccines from the vial inside the water but then before then let me take the 40 mils of water chlorine free water now because we've added milk that's 10 mils this syringe i'm going to show you just in a bit this syringe is 10 mils so i've taken two three and the last one you want to make sure that you follow the line as four so it's time to collect the vaccine now i'm going to use this the needle In case you don't know, this uh, vaccine has to be preserved with ice pack 
we want to try as much as possible to keep the vaccine in cold chain if you break that coaching that is if you if you don't maintain a particular temperature range which is supposed to be very cold if you don't maintain that range you have broken the cold range and that is bad for the vaccine because these vaccines are life vaccines that is the organism that causes the disease itself is inside here the only thing is that it has been weakened has been weakened and that is why we are using it to stimulate the immune response from the beds so i'm getting the vaccine out of this one now it's a very careful process you can't just rush it you must ensure you do it right because if you don't do it right then it will backfire so don't forget i have the 40 mils here i want to ensure that i'm adding this under the water you don't allow it to escape into the hair so you make sure that the needle is pointing the needle is pointing inside the water just like in school then they say that's in secondary school I don't know if they teach it now in primary school because the world has moved. They say you don't pour, um, you don't pour water into acid or base into acid. You, you do the otherwise. You pour acid into water so that water can splash, but you don't allow acid to splash. If you are pouring water into acid, it can splash, and you know what happens after that. So this is the second one. <laughs> Sorry, I have to take some. Okay. So this is the last one, this is the very last one, okay, once I extract the vaccine here now, okay, we are done with the valves, so I have 40 ml of water with vaccine for 4,000 uh, doses. So now, let's just say I have 4,000 doses of vaccine here, and I'm going to remove seven mules, which will be 700 doses. So I'll be left with 3,300 doses. So, because ordinarily we would have needed just three vials, and then 300 doses of another vial. So now we are going seven, seven we have to go fast with this process we are going seven this is six this is eight and this is seven so we are seven now so this is the one we we'll waste and the rest we we'll just mix with the water it's a gradual process you don't rush it so that you don't waste as you can see there's just a little just small quantity of water but it's loaded with the vaccine that you need for 3,300 beds. So you don't want it to waste. You don't splash anything unnecessarily. Okay, so we have what we need inside this place. And um, this is what we want to throw away. But we're going to do it carefully. Um, please let me get this um, other bucket. Okay, yeah, no problem. So anything you are throwing away, when, whenever you are throwing vaccine away or even these vials, you want to bury them. So everything here we will bury. We will bury even this syringe, we are going to bury. But before burying it, I will try to pour a disinfectant solution. I will pour a disinfectant solution so that we will already destroy the virus there before we bury 
So this is what we have and this is what we are going to serve into the drinkers and give to the birds to drink in a bit. Okay, so we have just given them the vaccine water and um, that's what they are taking right now. So it's very important to give them just the quantity that they can consume in a very short amount of time. However, you should also try as much as possible to make all of them partake of the vaccine ritual. Yeah, I call it ritual. It's something you have to take very important. So make sure that all of them, and the way to do that, do that is to have somebody stand by who will be going around to ensure that those ones that are resting are alerted. And you try as much as possible to push them close to the vaccine water so they can take and that's what our brother over there is doing ensuring that all of them partake of this ritual uh, it's a very important one if they want to stay alive so you can see the birds are enjoying the water most of them are thirsty and once the water is served they begin to drink they begin to drink can see it here so I'm going to join him now so we'll do the going around together because it is almost the most important part of this thing ensuring that most of them or all of them partake of the water so I'm going to join him and we'll do that right now We also poured it inside these um, bell drinkers and the, bell, the beds are done with the water. So we are opening the main water tank now. The water supply is coming into the bell drinkers for them to continue their living. Now this is clear water. okay so i'm just going to give you a quick rundown of the entire process first you have to ensure that you fast the beds for a minimum of two hours preferably in the morning between the hours of 6 to 8 a.m is perfect with me so if you do that correctly you can serve the vaccine afterwards another thing is that you have to get the vaccine that is right for the quantity of beds that you have and in the case where you can't get the exact quantity, say you have 300 beds and you were able to get 500 doses, then you make the kind of calculation that we did here for the 3,300 beds. So you remove the excess and bury. So that is the process of vaccination. It's very important that you follow the process. And another thing is that you reduce the stress on the beds. It's important that you don't starve them for too long, that they are so stressed out. You just want them to be hungry for water and then you serve the water. So thank you very much for watching. This is DIY Hagrid. I'm your poultry success partner. Come rain, come shine. I'm the one who wants you to succeed in poultry and I will continue to give you tips that will help you to succeed above your peers. Yeah, don't forget to subscribe if you are new to this channel. Click the like button if you think you like this content and also click the notification bell if you want to keep seeing videos like this. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.